It only takes one wrong click and your entire project disappears. Whether it's a Final Cut Pro project, a Photoshop file, or footage from your latest shoot, this is something that every filmmaker or creator dreads. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to recover those types of files, and honestly, it's pretty easy. Let's have a closer look. If you haven't already, make sure you check out the link down below in the description box to access Wondershare Recover It's website. You'll get a breakdown of all of its unique features, and you can of course download it for Windows or Mac and see if it will help recover your files, projects, or other type of data. Today, we're gonna to be taking this SSD, which houses many important files, especially ones coming from Final Cut, and there is an important thumbnail that I created using Photoshop. So let's see if Recover It can recover those files. Now with my SSD connected into my computer, it will pop up in the home screen right here in Recover It. It's actually right here, it's called My Volume. Now before we go ahead with the scanning process and recovery process, let me give you more of a breakdown on how Recover It works. On the left, we have a sidebar. So not only does it recover files from an SSD, but you can also do SD card recovery. I actually demoed this in a few other recover videos that I've done in the past. New to recover it is their AI device recognition. This actually identifies the type of device that recorded to your SD card when you're doing SD card recovery. This helps with the scan speed and overall recovery rate. On top of that, it can do specific file repair. For example, video, photo, document. There's even a detail enhancer and a blurry photo enhancer. A little bit of a bonus with Recover It. You can also sign in to your iCloud account and recover files that way too. Other tools also involve system crash computer repair, NAS and Linux, smart disk monitoring, and video and photo restoration. Obviously in today's video, we're gonna be looking at the hard drives and locations. With the latest version of Recover It, we now have AI-driven recognition features. For example, it will detect drives a lot faster and detect the formatted version that they're in. For example, the My Volume drive is formatted in HFS Plus. We have another drive here that's an XFAT, another one here also an XFAT, and we have APFS and APFS. So I haven't seen that before in Recover. It's a nice little added bonus there. And on top of that, this increases the recovery speed and scanning speed. We actually get a 99.5% recovery rate using Wondershare Recover It. So we're gonna look at my volume. I'm just gonna click on the scan button and I'm gonna click on rescan since I've scanned this drive before. So I just wanna show you how everything is populated. What's great about Recover It compared to other software is that as it's scanning, you can still recover your files. So if something pops up while it's scanning, you can just click on that folder or file and then click on Recover. I'm today focusing more on my Fonica Pro project, which is basically a project file that houses a ton of other files under it. And I'm also looking for my thumbnail Photoshop file. So I know that under this folder here, Genya, which is a project I've been working on, it's a documentary on my grandmother. I had a ton of files here, as you can see. And here is the Final Cut Pro project. It's gonna show up as a folder. And right here under that folder, you can see that it houses a bunch of different items here. So we can either select that main folder and recover that, or we can select specific files under that. And once we've clicked on saved, it's recovered the files very quickly. We can go to open folder and we can go to my volume. And as you can see, it shows up as that Final Cut Pro project. So really cool that it can actually recover the exact project file or folder still containing those files that are inside of it. Now let's go ahead and find my Photoshop file, which contains my thumbnail. So I'm gonna go back here and I'm just gonna see where it is. There it is, PSD, there we go. So I'm gonna select both of these files and you can see how quickly it just shows up. 
and I'm gonna click on recover it and send it again to my downloads folder. And boom, here we go. Here is my Photoshop file. Let's see if it opens properly with Photoshop. And as you can see, yes, it did. So this is for an entirely different project that I'm working on. So very successful recovery here from Wondershare Recover It. So if you rely on your Mac for a lot of your creativity, you definitely need some sort of software to help back up your ideas and your folders and projects and so forth. So definitely check out the link down below. Wondershare Recover It is free to use if you want to see if it works for you. You don't have to pay anything until you actually find the file and recover it. But you can actually scan any drive you want for free. So that's why I really like it. So you can see it, try it before you buy it. Let me know what you think about Recover It and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.